Hello and welcome to CGD Games. We are back on the A to Z of Furbus. And we're exactly, well not exactly, but we're in the same city, SM Busbenhof. Uh, where we ended up on the last A to Z at another Flixbus HQ, ladies and gentlemen. It's like we're doing a European tour of Flixbus HQ. Uh, but today, we are off to Frankfurt. Yes, E to F. Around about 317 kilometers, so quite a big journey today. Uh, probably one of the longest ones that we've done. But we're doing it in one of the new Interlinks uh, that dropped uh, at the time of recording uh, this week. And uh, yeah, we're going to do the journey in one of these. And looking down, you can have a look there, see the brand new dash, checking it all out. If you want to check this out in full, there is a video on the channel uh, if you want to check all this out and uh, see how the bus runs, but you can see how the bus runs on this, but we have a more detailed look uh, in that video. So first of all, let's uh, let's get it all up and running, and uh, so we can get prepared for today's journey, and then we don't have to mess around when the customers, or the, sorry, the passengers, uh, arrive on board. Unfortunately, that doesn't work, which is a crying shame, but not to worry. It's not be all and end all, is it? Right. Let's head out of here. And uh, go and pick up some passengers. And crack on with the A to Z of Firmbus. I bet you thought I'd forgotten all about this now, hadn't you? Because it has been a couple of weeks since the last video. But uh, there's been that much content and that many new games and updates and this, that and the other. Uh... It's just, I've just not had time to squeeze it in. And uh, I thought now is the ideal opportunity with what having an update and uh, having the new buses as well. Everything seems to calm down uh, on the content front. So, yeah, perfect time to get this, uh, this series back underway again. Now, we did do a, we did a video uh, for the update and we did a uh, live stream as well. And during that live stream, many of you know I use the Thrustmaster uh, eSwap controller. For those that don't know, it's a controller where I can swap the thumbsticks out and I have like a steering wheel module. Now, the steering wheel mid module, I mean, it's not like a huge full-size steering wheel. One that I can control with my thumb uh, in the controller. Uh, if you Google it, you'll be able to see it. Now, I've been having a few issues with it where the it was more or less like drift almost where the, the steering wheel will just pull me off to the left and i was i mean i had a few instances of it in that live stream now i think i fixed it so fingers crossed uh, we have no instances of that during the recording uh, what it was uh, where the uh the modules so the little steering wheel or the thumbstick whichever how configuration that you had it this teeth like copper teeth or metal teeth sat down at the base of the controller and then when you snap your your module into it that has connectors now the teeth had somehow don't know how this has happened but they were all bent and crooked and touching each other so with a little bit of uh, fine tuning and some patience and a very very gentle hand I've managed to bend all those teeth and all those connections back into the place um, so that doesn't happen. Uh, also, I've got some electrical cleaning spray. I've sprayed, sprayed that throughout the controller as well. And fingers crossed, I think I've cracked it. Like I said, I don't know how those teeth have got bent because I'm a 46 year old man, not a toddler. Um, and I'm quite careful with the way that I, you know, I do the connections and and snap it in and snap it out etc so yeah how that's happened i don't know but it is what it is and like i said fingers crossed uh, that now should remedy it and we should have that nice smoothie smooth steering experience all the way to frankfurt all right so we are going to take a left here the bus stop is literally just round the corner now where we're going to pick up our passengers who will be joining us for today's journey obviously we're going to have to pick up passengers for the a to z of uh, Firm bus, aren't we? Otherwise, it would be pretty pointless. 
But once we've got these passengers picked up, uh, we'll have a little chat uh, about the state of Fernbus now since. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since that update. Oh, yes, there's quite a few of them. And uh, what I think of it, but most importantly, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think of it as well. So, right, we're going to put that in neutral. There we go. I always, like I said, I always like uh, to turn the engine off just because it, it gets just so loud, doesn't it? I have forgot to uh, open and close the doors, but it's not a problem because we can do it manually, can't we? There we go. We'll open that door as well for our passengers. And we'll open that up as well. So everybody, chuck your bags on board. And there is just the one person that likes to buy a ticket today. So I think I can cope with that. Right, buddy. Let's get you on board. And let's get you on board, my friend. Uh, and you. There you go, pal. You young lady. Mary. There you go, Mary. You don't know you do, you mong. Uh, SN? Uh, no, sorry, eager. SN, that's where we are, you tool. Look at this little old lady, Maria. There you go, Maria. You on board. Nicholas is you as well. I think uh, Maria wasn't coming with us. Jews? Uh, who else? We didn't get you done there, you woolly jumper, did we, pal? There you go, pal. Oh, I think you got a funny little voice. Right. MP player didn't get a ticket. There you go, love. Thank you. All right. Hi. And you. I think this one's not coming on board, you know. All right, maybe she is. And you, you need a ticket, Frankfurt. Let's have a scroll down for you. Where is it? There she is, Frankfurt. Check. There you go, sweetheart. Thank you. On board you go. Right. That's that shut. And uh, we will jump in our seat. We will close the doors and start the engine up. Put her in drive. We're in the wrong section there, aren't we? We'll put that on. But most importantly, we will start our ride as well. There we go. So that's that done. Right. Shall we uh, get on our way? So like I said, it should be. 317 kilometers to Frankfurt. So at last we are leaving Belgium and heading into another country for the first time on the A to Z of Fernbus, which will be nice, won't it? Let's uh, swing across here like so. So yes, we received um, quite a hefty update of the game uh, this week, as well as receiving the new bus pack as well of the Inter links now i will actually touch on the interlink uh, hd bus pack which is bus pack 4 uh, they're asking 16 pounds 74 for that bus pack for two buses which for me it's just way too much money it's far too expensive these should have been at least a tenner i did speak to nico about them but as i was expecting he did say and, you know, he has nothing to do with pricing. It's, that's out of his hands. He didn't comment whether he thought they were too expensive or not. Because he won't, because he works for uh, Aerosoft. But, yeah, that sort of thing is out of his hands. But I did pass comment to him uh, that they were too expensive. So maybe he can um, take that feedback and uh, pass it on to his superiors or pass it on to the people who price these games and say look we were told and i did say the guys as well i did say that you guys also said uh, that it was a little bit too expensive so you know he can go back with that feedback and say look cgd said he mentioned it to his community and they thought it was too expensive but as as gamers we all we all we suffer don't we from fomo we all do it we all suffer from fomo some of us are better uh, that resisting fomo than others uh, i'm terrible i suffer with fomo i i'm just as bad as the next but some people can wait um and you know that that'll show in their sales figures i suppose at how many people actually bought this bus pack um, as a content creator i'm quite lucky because aerosoft provide them for me uh, just so i can show you guys uh, what they're like i mean for me yes that it's lovely i get a new view new cockpit 
Uh, but for me, many of the buses very much handle and drive the same on firm bus. There's not that much difference apart from sometimes the size of them. Um, so for me, generally, it's usually just a nice view of a cockpit, a new cockpit, really. Um, a new sound with the doors, etc. Uh, so yeah, I don't really see that much of a difference. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong, if you're on a steering wheel, uh, or if you do notice the difference of the handling of the buses, but for me, maybe it's because I don't play it that much anymore. Uh, but, you know, the only time I really do play this is for when I do it for content. The A to Z of Firm Bus. So, I mean, I have occasionally jumped on it and done the odd run here and there. Uh, but I still spend a lot of time on Alaskan Road Truckers. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we mentioned to Nico about... Uh, the buses now the update itself uh, had many bug fixes in it and it also contained which many of you may have noticed or some of you may have not have noticed yet um, that we now have not a slider but an option uh, for performance mode now as you can see from the mirrors I've got mine in quality I have done a little bit of testing of this performance and quality I've turned performance off and I've got quality on the mirrors I get a better draw distance, uh, minimal popping, and for me, as well, the frame rate's been fantastic. It's running as smooth as butter, so I've been keeping it in this quality mode. Uh, I just think it, it's brilliant, and I've, I guess I'm getting the drops in frames in the usual places. Uh, Wayne M, uh, who pops into my channel, told me to turn auto save off which has eliminated the micro pauses so thank you very much to him he mentioned that in uh, the live stream not so long ago uh, that we did a firm bus so he mentioned that to me as well so that's eliminated the micro pauses and since then i've had a bloody brilliant experience on firm bus the best since launch so you know a lot a lot has been said uh, about aerosoft and this game and many games uh, in the past but I tell you what it was quite obvious around about six seven eight months ago they had a bit of a restructure we saw a lot of new faces and you could see it within their social media uh, and on their YouTube channel and on the discord that they were making more of an effort they were more communicative and as by Leverkusen part look um, and just the way they were doing things it just seemed a lot more efficient a lot better and things seem to be improving not with just their communication but with the standard of the updates as well that we're getting uh, the standard of the games yes you can say yes you know there's, there's the games of the past like I mean everybody always slates it and said it's such a terrible game but I think I take it for what it is Autobahn Police Simulator 3 it's, it's not the most amazing game in the world, but it's very tongue-in-cheek. It's absolutely hilarious, and it's it's supposed to be a bit of fun. Uh, and that's what I do with it. I have a lot of fun with that game. Uh, it's, it's, it's camper than a row of pink tents. It's just funny. Um, so whoever takes that serious needs their head testing. Yes, the, the, there's those games of the past, and, you know, they don't look brilliant, they don't perform brilliant. What was the last one that we did? Was it Road Maintenance Simulator? Which was full of so many issues. Once again, I've spoke to Nico about that, and they are doing a sequel to that game. And he told me uh, that they have learned from their mistakes. Um, not with just Road Maintenance Simulator, but with a lot of the games where... There was issues with them and they've just been oh well that's your game just deal with it you've bought it it's your problem now and that was the kind of the attitude wasn't it or it was either that or we got told a pack of lies and everything now that nico has either or anyone from aerosoft has ever communicated with us has been the truth and we know that because it's it's either happened or it hasn't happened because they said it wasn't going to happen um so you, you just can't fault them for that at all just superb like i said the communication is second to none uh, and things at aerosoft do finally uh seem to be on the up so we've got um 
We've got a new police simulator coming from them with the same developers, actually, um, as Autobahn Police Simulator, which is the Highway Police Patrol game. So, fingers crossed, that's a hell of a lot better than the uh, Police Simulator Patrol Officers game and their Highway Patrol, because at the moment, that game is just atrocious. What what they are doing at that development team, I do not know. The, to, an analogy that I used the other day for that game is that it's a big ball of string and it's in a tangled mess and they keep trying to untangle it and untangle it and they loosen it up a bit and then give it to us and go there you go we've done a bit that's playable now and it's not so they take it back and they untangle it a little bit more and it's still a tangled mess but a little bit looser and they go there you go they are we've done a bit more and every time they they seem to try and untangle it they, they make even more of a mess and a lot, there's been a lot of, you know, rib, rib tickling of, oh, well, you know, look who's gone and worked over there now. And uh, look at where things are getting better now. Now he's left. And I don't think that's got a lot to do with it um, because of one certain person. But, you know, it is odd, isn't it, really? Uh, maybe he's cursed, I don't know, bless him. Uh, if you notice and I'm not mentioning any names, I'll leave that for you uh, to come up with. But, yeah, the thing... I mean, up to now, look, we've not had one frame drop. It's as smooth as butter. Bearing it, I have got it turned down to 50% traffic. I have. I just... It, it is a lot better with 50% traffic. I mean, I could bump it up a little bit more and push my luck with it, but 50% traffic is sufficient enough. You know, there's a lot more traffic on these roads than there is on the Alaskan road truckers, so I know that much. So how are we doing now? We're down to 180, 196 kilometers already, ladies and gentlemen. We're not doing too bad at all, are we? We're making really good time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut up for a couple of minutes, just so you can take it all in, enjoy some of the audio. I'll tell you what I'll do as well, while we're uh, driving along. And it is getting a little bit stuffy in here, isn't it? Uh, I'll open a window. Uh, just so you can hear some of that audio as well. And I'll shut up. So as you see, I'm, ba I'm back now, I'm back. Sorry, did I make you jump? Yeah, we just had a little bit of a micro pose there. The first one we've had on this journey. And I was thinking that as I was sat in silence as we were driving along. We were talking about uh, Road Maintenance Simulator. And I went off on a bit of a tangent. So yeah, Road Maintenance Simulator, there's a sequel coming from that. And that is a little bit broken. You know, you can't progress sometimes in the game. That's been fixed. That's been learnt from for the sequel. Uh, and Nico assures me the second one uh, is going to be a lot better. Uh, they've also got another game coming out in the next couple of weeks, uh, which will be here on the channel. Thank you very much once again to Aerosoft, uh, who will be supplying me the code for that game, which is uh, Forklift Simulator. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that one as well. Once again, sticking to the simulator theme here on CGD Games, because that's what we're all about here, isn't it? It's about the simulation games 
We don't pad it out with any other crap. Apart from survival on a Sunday, of course, but that's not crap. It's still kind of simulation, isn't it? So, yeah, that's the way we like to keep it here on CGD games, not padding it out with the other stuff. Uh, we can always find content here on CGD games. There's plenty of stuff out there. Uh, Simulation-wise, it's, uh, it's about what you make it. Yes, it's the same old games, week in, week out, but... It's about mixing it up and uh, using your creative imagination, coming up with new and fangled ways of creating videos. And that's what it's all about, content creation. It's about evolving and changing and, and uh, switching things up with the content that you've got and uh, new ways of how to produce it and introduce it to you guys as well. And that's what I try to do here with the A to Z of Fernbus. It's just... An, you know, I could just come on here and drive from A to B, A to B every week, different place. But at least this way, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge, isn't it? Uh, I'm speeding through here, but not to worry. Only six kilometres over the speed limit, isn't it? Not too bad at all. So let me know down in the comments, are you playing in performance mode, or have you got that turned off and kind of playing in quality mode, a bit like me? with the better graphics and the ever so slightly slower frame rate or are you preferring, preferring the uh, the higher frame rate and that extra smoothness of your journey so let me know down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Aerosoft as well um, and how they're performing lately um, since they've restructured uh, those seven or eight months ago are you seeing an improvement as well uh, with the quality of the games. I mean, Fernbus is the big one for us, isn't it? This is this is sort of our uh, prestige simulator, isn't it, from Aerosoft? This is the one that, that, that the majority of us play. Everything else is, you know, well, we, there's on the road as well, but let's be completely honest, even though they said they're going to support that game for several years to come, how are you going to support a game that's... You've already said that you're not going to extend the map. You've already said this, that, and the other. So how you can support a game, uh, I don't know. When you're not going to extend the map or add more content, it's... Well, they are going to add more content. They're going to add some more trucks. But for me, I think the future lies with heavy cargo. And, see, I'm just moving on from one, sub just one subject to another here. Heavy cargo. Um, I'm actually quite looking forward to that now, you know. Um, once again, talking to Nico about it, he's actually got me quite a little, a little bit excited. Now that's his job; he's got to get me hyped up about these games, hasn't he? But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that now. Even though, from what I've heard, it is mission-based, and it's not like like on the road where we can keep going and going and going and going. Uh, there's around about 40 missions. Um, varying in length but once those missions are done the game's done now that's what i've heard i need to clarify that with nico if that's the case if that is the case that has put me off a little bit uh, i'd just rather have my own career where i'm just picking up goods and dropping them off again like we do on on the road that's what i do prefer um looking for what i've seen of the game there's a lot of asset flipping so it is going to be very reminiscent of on the road as well we've seen that through some of the trailers there has been a demo as well which i've not i have touched i played it on the steam deck um because as you all know my computer is an absolute potato it just allows me to do what i do here um so i've kind of stayed away from the game a little bit i've like i said i played it on the steam deck but everything's too small on the steam deck because i'm 46 year old and my eyes are knackered I can hardly see any of the text or anything on there. So, yeah, waiting for console for that until I have a decent look at it. I, I am looking forward to it, but, you know, I'll, I'll wait with bated breath about that one. But once again, let me know your, your thoughts, your comments of Heavy Cargo. I think the truck, uh, the forklift game, I was going to say the truck game, then the forklift simulator game from... Aerosoft will be with us, I think it's August the 12th on Xbox. So I'm looking forward to bringing you guys that one. We'll probably do a live stream 
uh, on that one uh, on August the 12th and maybe a video to go along with it and depending on what sort of the the content is whether it's going to be a career or a a set of challenges now we did do a forklift game on the channel not long ago I don't know if you remember it was forklift extreme that was very much challenge based wasn't it but it was a lot of fun it was very cartoony but the physics on that the physics on that uh, forklift game were superb absolutely superb uh, in the way that the forklift handled and what you lifted and how you how you loaded uh, your car go up onto the forklift it was very good uh, and I think that as well you know was a one man development team and he did a fantastic job in creating that game so I don't know how forklift simulator is going to work if it's going to be like a career where we I don't know probably uh, work in and around the warehouses of Germany with uh, each warehouse getting a little bit more difficult and loading up trucks you know we could have to load up a full lorry load uh, of cargo and have to do it within 10 minutes because the truck has to leave and get to a certain destination i don't know how the game loop and how the game mechanics are going to work on that one but we'll soon find out august the 12th which is literally at the time of recording about a week and a half away uh, so look forward to seeing that one on the channel as well is this is the place to be for simulation games ladies and gentlemen isn't it this is the place to be for all your console simulation games. Like I said, we don't uh, dilute the content here with, with other stuff. Yes, we do a story game on a Friday. Uh, but that's generally loosely simulation based as well. At the moment, we're playing the lake. And we're simulating being a post lady in an idyllic uh, lake, uh, lake town in the state somewhere. This is full of knobheads. But as each episode of that comes along, I'm uh, thoroughly enjoying it. I wasn't enjoying myself at first, but I am now. But anyway, that's the lake. Catch that on a Friday here on CGD Games. But yeah, nine times out of ten, uh, we do stick to uh, content that is simulation based on the game's console, not on PC. The only time I generally touch a PC game here on CGD Games now is if it is going to come to console. And that's guaranteed that it's going to come to console not it might be coming to console it, it is coming to console just so we can have a sneak peek of it and uh, just so we can see what to expect uh, otherwise it's just wasting your time isn't it really more than anything right here we go we're getting off here only 41 kilometers to go now got a good run haven't we really nice little chat we head into Frankfurt and what we'll do after this as well um, if I remember because I always forget to do these things I'll say what we'll do next or when we finish this we'll have a look at and I always forget to do it uh, we'll have a look at the map uh, and we'll see where we can head to next on the A to Z now obviously I try and get a couple of uh, places done got a couple of letters done in one video but uh, because this was around about 317 kilometers i thought this is a video in its own just the uh the e to f because we always start off where we finish we don't just magically appear so at the end of this at the end of sorry at the beginning of the next video we will start on frankfurt and move to g we won't just automatically appear in wherever g is it's not the way it's, it works we are literally going in one lovely continuous motion across the map a to z the best we can but what we'll do uh, we'll have a look after this of where we can head to uh, for g we'll have a look together and then you'll know uh, where we're heading to next and if it's just going to be an f to g or a, an f g h or maybe an f g h i you never know right we're going to swing a left here it's the end of the autobahn there. There we go. So let's swing her around here now. Nice and gentle. Try not to mount that curb, which we did fantastically. We head into the beautiful city of Frankfurt. I've never been, but would love to uh, one day. Me and the wife have been talking. You know, we've been watching a lot of people 
to uh, to do van life who literally they've either converted their own van or they bought a camper van me and the wife have been thinking when the children um have got a little bit older and flown the nest and the you know it's just me and the wife left that maybe one day we will buy our own camper van and do that travel across europe you know for a couple of months start off here in manchester work his way down to calais not calais to dover cross over via a ferry with our little camper camper van and start off in calais and work our way across europe and hopefully sort of end up at turkey um and what we would like to do is travel through turkey all the way down to the south of turkey and go all the way down the coast down there that's the dream but would take a long time and a lot of time out of work as you can imagine but yeah that's that's the dream that is the dream uh, maybe when uh, and if i mean i don't take it for granted i don't think that you know by any means at this point in five years time this youtube channel would have shot off into the stratosphere but if things do start to pick up with it um and in five years time um i'll be able to uh, sort of semi-retire from a, from a job uh, and i can do this sort of semi part time uh, semi full time as well uh, who knows uh, you know because it is a big financial burden as well doing something like that you know a two-month trip around europe uh, in a camper van you've got to think of the fuel you you know eating and drinking and i mean you you wouldn't have to pay anything for hotels because you sleep in your van don't you um but you, you know there's some places where you'll stay in a, there's a lot to think about uh, logistically and financially so we will see on that one anyway but yeah that is a dream of ours would be uh, a lot of fun with just me and the wife in a little camper van anyway only 10 kilometers to go just around the corner now but yeah it's been a lovely smooth experience hasn't it compared to what it used to be like um firm bus now is an absolute joy to play it really is an absolute joy and it really does make me want to play some more but what would make me play more if they added just some kind of career or just something extra to to entice me in now a lot of people have been talking about the football dlc that could possibly be coming uh, to consult i've still not seen anything concrete on that i've done a bit of digging and i've not seen anything saying along the lines of the football dlc is coming to Fernbus console the football dlc is being considered uh, for console i've not seen anything uh, all i've heard is rumors throughout the uh, console simulation community uh, just people saying it i've not seen it in black and white from a tweet from tml or aerosoft um so we will see it would be great if it did but I, I, this just needs something and i never understood why or maybe i do understand why um that tourist bus had a career mode but this didn't but then tourist bus turned out to be a completely buggy mess didn't it um so maybe that's why they stayed away from it and I think I heard, remember, at one point, the reason this never got uh, a career mode was because they got the license with Flixbus. So they thought that was more than enough to be a Flixbus driver and travel across Europe, uh, ferrying passengers around Europe in one of their coaches being a Flixbus driver and having, you know, that license um, slapped across the bus. You know, I don't know that's that's what i heard that is what i heard they, they, they went for the license rather than the career mode to be honest i would have rather if they'd just gone um for the career mode if i was completely honest it would have been great to um be driving across europe earning money and having employees as well and having to drive back for you know you could we could have done it like an ets style where we had garages that we could buy across europe that we could go into for repairs and change our livery uh even designed our own liveries you know for for our own coach coach companies but you know that's us as gamers we always want more we always want something different don't we and 
I think what it is, it's because we do enjoy these games so much. We just want to... We want to keep playing it because we love it. But with games like this, they only have so much longevity, don't they? And I think that's where the problem lies. I mean, how long would it have been if this did have a career mode until we got bored of that? You know, so we'll, we'll, we'll always be wanting as gamers. We're, we're always full of ideas and creativity as gamers as well. And we wonder why the developers can't implement it into the games that we enjoy. But, you know, it is what it is. And I like to talk a lot, don't I? I don't think... I, well, I did shut up for a little bit, didn't I? I gave you a little bit of a rest halfway through. Uh, from my dulcet northern tones. But yeah, just look how smooth that is now. It is great, isn't it? Oh, what am I doing here? There we go. Have a look outside. It's a lot smoother out here as well when you... Yeah, you get outside the bus. Anyway. Let's head around here. Is there anything there? No, we're good. Let's head around. Those guys there chilling out on the benches. We've got to take another turn. This last few uh, few hundred metres is turning out to be quite a long one. Why I've stopped here, I don't know. It's a giveaway. Oh, I think we're good to go. Sorry for making you a little bit sick with my camera movements there. Right, here we go. This is us. We'll pull in here. And don't forget, I've not forgotten. We are going to go to map. Yeah, this is it, mate. Efficient. Right, that's us out of here, isn't it? I need to switch my other controller on now. It's gone dead. We're going to get a message on the screen now. There we go. Right. There we go. Oh, you need that open, don't you, for your luggage? There we go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another journey done on the A to Z of Fernbus. So let's log out of there and we'll continue. We're not interested in all that gubbins, are we? Right, so let's pick a new one. We'll, uh, we will sort out next week's uh, route. So we are here in Frankfurt. So let's zoom out a bit. Let's see if we can find anywhere with G. Let's head south. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I'm not seeing anything south that is pretty close. So let's head east here. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. What's down there? Nuremberg. Nothing again. Nothing that way. So let's head north. Let's see if we can see anything that way. Nothing for a long time. I do know where there is a G. And there's one east, but I didn't really want to head east. Because that's where we've come from. I think, is it down here somewhere? No. Where's Gents? We need to find a G, because that's where we've got to head to next. Yeah, there's one there. Uh, Gelsenkirchen, which is where we've just come from, which is in essence, and we're heading back into Belgium. Um, there's got to be somewhere else, hasn't there? There's got to be. Ah, there's one up there, but it, once again, it's heading back over that way. I don't want to head over that way. It's the last place I want to go, but that might be the case. That that's where we're heading to. Now, there's Graz down there. How far is that? 825 kilometers to Graz, or... 370 kilometers to there. So once we get to there, we need a H then, don't we? Yeah, then we can go to H to Hanover. There we go. So that's what we're going to do next time. That's next week's journey. So what we'll do, we'll come out of there. And we'll save that. So there is next next episode's journey. Uh, if we head down there. Frankfurt to Hanover. With a stop at Gelsenkirchen. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode of the A to Z of Furball. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed our little chat. Any thoughts on what we've discussed or we've talked about in today's video, let me know down in the comments. I try to answer as many as I can. Uh, I take great pride in that. And leave a like. We very much appreciate it. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and give that notification bell a little ding so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But in the meantime, why don't you check out one of these awesome videos that have popped up onto the screen now. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.